Hello everyone, Otoza Botanical here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to grow Venus flytraps from seeds. So stay tuned. Alright, so I got two containers with DCXL seeds in them, and one with black pearl Venus flytrap seeds in it. And they've already sprouted, but I'm going to tell you how I did it. So, what you do... You get a mix of peat moss and silica sand, or peat moss and a bit of perlite, doesn't really matter much, and you sprinkle the seeds on the top. Now you put that in some sort of deli cup, the size doesn't matter, just make sure it has a lid, poke a few holes in the top, and then put these in the fridge for one to two months, and uh, make sure they're always damp throughout that time. Then when you take them out of a fridge, after about two weeks, this is what it will look like. So as you can see, the seed is still on the end, but there's a stem of the flytrap coming out, and it's about to drop the seed coat that's on the end. And in another two weeks or so, they'll have two little leaves and start to be producing traps. So that's basically how you grow Venus flytraps from seeds. Um, and now I'm going to show you a clip in a couple weeks from now so you can see what they look like. Alright, so it's been about a week and uh, here are the Venus flytrap seedlings. They have their seed leaves right now and just starting to get their first leaf with a trap. And they're super, they're super tiny. So that's DCXL, that's DCXL. And that's black pearl. So um, got lots of DCXL going, and I'm excited to see uh, how big these get and how fast they grow. So that's a week later. Um, I think I'll end the video here and just do an update in a couple weeks or a month and uh, see how they are. But that's how they are right now. So thanks so much for watching. Hope this helped some people learn how to grow Venus flytraps from seeds. And uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. As always, stay outdoors, be botanical, keep your hobbies, and I'll see you in the next video.